Wilbert the Forest Engine had been brought to the Fat Controller's Railway for Christmas. The austerity tank delighted in pulling special tourist trains down the main line, giving him a chance to really stretch his wheel. The passengers were in a jolly mood for the holidays, and sang Christmas carols as Wilbert pulled them along. To the little engine, it was nothing short of magical. One evening, Percy was out on the post train, so Thomas and Toby invited Wilbert to stay the night at the branch line shed. Wilbur was good friends with them, so he happily agreed. You're lucky to have a long line, Wilbur remarked. Mine's only a mile and a half long, with a station at each end. It's wonderful to get a proper run in, especially at this time of year. Yes, indeed. The Christmas season is a great time to be an engine, though the passenger singing can be a bit much. Wilbur chuckled. I don't mind it one bit. The passengers are singing out of happiness, which I've found can be quite contagious. I couldn't agree more, Toby cut in. Henrietta and I love hearing the passengers singing their carols. There's no feeling quite like it. There really isn't. I should know. I used to work in a steelworks. It was a miserable job. But each year around Christmas, all the workers would hum jolly tunes, and they'd even put a little tree in our shed. It brought us all a sense of happiness. Something rare around those parts. Wilbert smiled, remembering, before his expression suddenly changed. Although, there was one engine who still remained bitter during the holidays. Thomas and Toby eyed him with intrigue. Who was this engine? The engine didn't have a name, just a number. Sixteen. He was an old grump, never had anything nice to say about anyone or anything. No one exactly knows why he was so cynical. Personally, I'd put it down to a general discontent with where he'd ended up in life. He was rude to anyone he came across, always dragged down the mood wherever he went, and his work ethic reflected this. To put it kindly, Sixteen could never find the proper motivation, though most just called him lazy. Lazy and reckless, a combination that always leads to disaster. He was always rough with trucks, biffing them here and there, sometimes derailing them. The other engines warned him constantly. You'll have a serious accident if you keep that attitude up. But Sixteen never listened, though it might have been better if he had. At the far side of the steelworks was an embankment used for dumping the excess molten slag, known as the tip. Only the lighter engines were allowed to take trucks up to it, as the ground wasn't strong enough to hold the heavier engines like Sixteen. Well, the careless engine never liked being told no, and had always wanted to venture up there just to prove a point. And one cold and snowy day, he got his chance. The points had been set to the embankment. Sixteen's crew couldn't see the snow, but Sixteen very much could. He charged up the slope and onto the tip. His crew were horrified. What have you done, you stupid engine? It's not safe up there! Pooh, I'm just fine here. Nothing bad's happened, has it? No sooner had those words left his mouth, the ground beneath them began to suddenly shake. Horrified, the crew threw open the reverser, but the ice and snow on the rails prevented Sixteen from gripping them. He was stuck. <laughs> Help! Sixteen cried as the ground gave way, and he tumbled cab over wheels down the embankment, landing in a thick pile of snow at the bottom, steam pouring out of him in all directions. What happened then? Toby asked in bewilderment. Sixteen was rescued, but the steelworks couldn't afford to repair him, so he was sent to the back of the shed. Over time, he was gutted for parts needed to repair the other engines, making him feel even more miserable and alone. So, was he scrapped? Nope, Wilbert answered. He came close to it, and thought for sure he would be. But at the last second, he was bought out by some preservationists around Christmas time. They repaired him back to working order, and now he works on a heritage railway pulling passenger trains back and forth. He was lucky. Got a lot better than he deserved. Oh my, he sure did. That's nothing short of a Christmas miracle. Have you seen Sixteen since your steelworks days, Wilbert? Thomas asked. I haven't, Wilbert answered. I left Sixteen and that steelworks far behind, and I think that's for the best. Thomas and Toby could only agree. The three engines talked for a while after, and soon Thomas and Toby were fast asleep. Wilbert, meanwhile, stayed awake a little longer, gazing thoughtfully up at the night sky. Yup. It certainly was a Christmas miracle, wasn't it? Wilbert said quietly, before he too closed his eyes and fell peacefully asleep. <laughs>